A toothbrush does a great job at brushing your teeth. But your toothbrush can do a whole lot more than just making your chompers white. So when it's time to buy a new toothbrush for your teeth, think twice about throwing that old toothbrush away. And I really think you'll be amazed at their cleaning versatility. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you lots of things that you can use to clean your toothbrush besides just your teeth. But first, if you're new here, welcome to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. My name is Diana and I am the Germaphobe. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of all of our future videos. But for now, I'm gonna tell you all of the ways to clean with the toothbrush. Let's jump in. First, cleaning your grout. I have a lot of grout in my home, so trying to keep it clean is a constant battle. A toothbrush is just the right size for grout lines, and those little bristles can really get into those little nooks and crannies of grout to give it a deep clean. Cleaning edges with a toothbrush is a cinch until you reach a corner, so try this quick hack to solve this problem. First, get a pan of water and bring it to a boil. Submerge the bristles and about an inch beyond into the boiling water and let it boil for about three to five minutes. Use pliers to pull the toothbrush out of the water. Be careful, it will be hot. Use a hot pad to hold onto the toothbrush and the pliers to bend the toothbrush back about 45 degrees. Now you can get into those corners. Grab two toothbrushes and some hot glue. Glue them together with the bristles facing each other. Now you have a double-edged scrubber to get tough jobs from both sides. As for me, I'm gonna clean this very greasy bike chain. The next hack isn't for cleaning necessarily, but it does keep my kids occupied while I get some cleaning done. The unique shape of a brush is a fun variation from a regular toothbrush and your kids will love it. Next is the toilet. Not always our favorite place to clean, but a toothbrush does make the job easier. It gets into the nooks and tight spots that traps odor and yes, urine. While we're in the bathroom, let's talk about your blow dryer. If your blow dryer is getting louder, hot, or weaker, it may be that the intake vent is partially blocked and it needs a cleaning. First, take off the filter, then use a toothbrush to gently brush away lint and hair. Just make sure to unplug the blow dryer first. Those small bristles are also good for cleaning your keyboard. Small particles and crumbs can get in between the keys, making them stick or respond slowly. In my case, all that white stuff stuck under my keys? Deodorant. Apparently, my three-year-old thought my keyboard had a bad case of B.O. Have you ever thought about the parts of your sink that you can't see, like inside your garbage disposal? It is nasty in there, and even if you can't see it, you most likely can smell it. But it's not easy to reach. Take a toothbrush and bend it again, like I showed you earlier, but this time 90 degrees forward. If you don't have a pan to boil it in, you can try this. Wrap the toothbrush in tin foil and use a lighter to heat the plastic. I heated mine a little too much, but it still works great. Spray your cleaner of choice on your brush and then go to town. My disposal is brand new, so there's not a lot of grime on mine, but try this on your sink and let me know in the comment section below how it worked for you. You can also use a bent toothbrush for another grimy, dirty job, the toilet bowl. Now you're brush can get most of the dirt and germs from the bowl, but they often miss a dirty spot that is completely out of our sight. Now I'm gonna try to show you with my camera. It's really tough to see, but look at that hidden surprise of grossness, waiting, begging for something to come to clean it off. Thankfully, we have our trusted toothbrush. And finally, dust in your car. Even if the rest of your car is spotless, if there's dust on your dash, it still looks dirty. And there are some really tough to reach corners and vents in your car. Use a toothbrush to deep clean your dash and your car will never look cleaner. watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to hit subscribe if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe. Also, just a friendly reminder to make sure that you do brush your teeth every day because if you don't, you're going to wind up with summer teeth. And in case you don't know what summer teeth are, if you don't brush your teeth, then some are there and some are not. Up next, I'm going to put my video on bathroom cleaning hacks. There's a ton of good ways to help you keep your bathroom cleaner faster. I'm going to put a link to that right here. Make sure to click on that video and I will see you over there.